it's Lisa here. I'm doing another empties video, so if you'd like to continue watching, please do. So, I keep all my empties in this large bag, and once it's full, I do an empties video. So, I'm just going to get right into it. This is going to be a large, um, a long video, because I do have a lot of products in this bag. So, I'm just going to get right into it. Hopefully, it won't be that long. <laughs> So first things I used up are the Body Shop Shampoo, and it's in the banana scent, and I also used up the banana conditioner, and I absolutely love these shampoos and conditioners. The conditioner is my favorite. The shampoo is great, but the conditioner, oh, it just brings my hair back to life, you guys. It makes it feel so soft and conditioned, not dried out like it normally does. And it just leaves my hair feeling so, so soft. And I just really liked the difference from using other products to this one. I can really tell that this one really works. And my hair really, really likes it. So I will, I've already repurchased these and I will continue to use them. Love them. Next thing up is a candle and it's in Strawberry Rhubarb Marmalade Scent. And this one's from Bath and Body Works and it smelled amazing just like strawberry rhubarb pie and yeah I loved it and if I could find another one I would repurchase it. Next thing is a food item and it, these are Annie's homegrown cocoa and vanilla flavored gluten-free bunny cookies. This is the box and I absolutely love these. They're gluten-free much healthier than um, Honey Grahams, but I do love Honey Grahams, but these ones were good as well. Next thing I used up are the Layers by Scentsy Perfectly Pomegranate, and they're the Washer Whiffs. And if you don't know what the Washer Whiffs are, they're just like the Downy Unstoppables. You put a little bit, scoop a little bit of the crystals into your wash, and it will make your clothes smell amazing, especially Perfectly Pomegranate. I love the set. It smells amazing. Next thing is a Yankee Candle, and this one's in Peach Cobbler Scent. And it burned really, really nicely, but sadly the scent throw only lasted about two burns. After that, I couldn't smell anything, so definitely wouldn't repurchase this scent. Next thing I used up was the Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Pecan Waffles um, Hand Soap. And this is my ultimate favorite scent from the Bath & Body Works uh, fall collection. It smelled amazing. I love it so much. I don't care if it's not fall. I would use this all year round. So, so good. Next thing is my deodorant, Dove Go Fresh. And it's in raspberry, oh no, this one's in pomegranate scent. I used up a Scentsy Room Spray, and this one is in Fuzzy Blanket, and I love the scent of Fuzzy Blanket. It's like a soothing, calming, kind of cologne-like scent. It's just so nice, and I had it for the bathroom, and it just smelled so good. The next candle I used up is for everybody, and it was a sugar cookie soy candle. And sadly, this one didn't have any scent throw, but I did like the packaging. Next candle I used up is a Yankee candle, and it's in the scent um, Summer Wine Citrus Pleasure Enjoy Chilled Treat and Refreshing. It's like that's what it looks like. So there's no real scent to it, but this one smelled amazing. It really was a strong scent throw. It smelled like a real berry kind of tropical scent. So that one was nice. If I could find it, I would repurchase it. Next candle is a repurchase always. The Tuscany Hearth White Chocolate. Love this. It smells so good. And I've already repurchased it. Next candle I actually broke. <laughs> Um, I broke it after I used it, thankfully. <laughs> um, just for in my bag, I broke it. So this one was the um, 
Honolulu's son and I absolutely loved it. I did want to keep this jar, but I guess I'm not going to use it anymore. <laughs> Next candle is Praline Pecan, sorry, Praline Pecan Cobbler. It's kind of a hard one to say. And this one smelled amazing. It smelled a lot like the pumpkin pecan waffle scent that I absolutely love. Only it was a little bit lighter of a scent, not as much maple syrup kind of scent. So definitely would repurchase this one. Alright, next thing I used up is a Layers by Scentsy and this one was in Sheer Innocence and it was a body lotion. And I absolutely love the scent of this one, really soft, really calming and pretty, just a real girly scent. So I love this one. Next thing I used up are these Laboratories Chlorine and they are soothing and relaxing patches with soothing cornflower and their eye contour patches. So basically you just put them on under your eyes right here and leave them on for I think 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And oh, they just really soothed my eyes. They felt so nice and cool and refreshed. So I definitely will use these again. I got them in my Ipsy bag, so definitely will repurchase them because they're really, really nice. Next thing is a Lush product that I used up and it was Baked Alaska Soap. And I loved it. I don't know if you know this one from Christmas, um, but it's like a bar, the bar of soap has like little round circles in it and smells like citrus and oh, just loved the baked Alaska scent. Next thing I used up was this Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturizer and it was just a sample and I absolutely loved it. When my moisturizer runs out, I think I'm gonna give this one a try. Uh, next thing I used up is from Lush and it's the Rose Jam Shower Gel and I'm not a big rose scent fan but this one is more of a sweet rose um, because of the jam. It's really sweet and I didn't really find that the rose was overpowering so I definitely like this one. Next thing I used up is this Lush perfume and it's in my favorite scent, Karma. And this one was a 10 milliliter. Mm. So I will be repurchasing this. I'm just waiting. We're having a new Lush store in our mall and it hasn't opened yet. So I'm just waiting to go there. I mean, I know you guys see I do a lot of Lush hauls and I haven't been. That's because I'm waiting for this new store to open so I don't have to drive 25 minutes to the other location that I normally go to. So I will be doing more Lush hauls once that store opens. Next thing I used up is the Bath & Body Works Twisted Peppermint Wallflower. And this scent, I know it's a Christmas scent, but I like it for the cat's room. It just really, really gets rid of the odor and smells so fresh. So I love it for the cat's room. All right, I think the, the last few items are all wax uh, melts. So the first one is Yankee Candle and it's the white chocolate apple. And oh my God, this scent is so good. It smells like the boardwalk from the Bath and Body Works candle that they have. It just smells so nice, like apple and cream and just so, so good. You can smell a bit of the white chocolate, but it's mainly apples and cream and just delicious. Next thing is an Ambi Essence Wax Melt, and this one's in Tropical Dreams. This one was so nice. It smelled like pineapple and coconut and just like fresh air, <laughs> if there's even a scent, but just a really nice, fresh smell this one was. Next one is a Goose Creek Fragrance um, Wax Melt, and this one's in Strawberry Lemonade Cupcake. And I loved this one. Oh, it smelled so good. 
this is one of the melts that I got sent. Uh, one of my subscribers, we do swaps together, and her and I did some more swaps, and she was nice enough to send me these. I purchased them, and she was able to send me them from her country over to me, because they don't send them to Canada, sadly enough. But loved this scent. Smelled so, so good. Next one I used up is Sugar, and that is my favorite scent from Scentsy. So love that one. It's really sugary, um, <laughs> hence the name Sugar, but um, really soothing, soft scent. Next one is another Goose Creek, and this one is in Pineapple Sea Breeze. And this one was so nice, just like pineapple with like an aqua scent to it. Next one was Perk Me Up. And this one's a coffee scent. So if you like coffee scents with like cream and butter, you would love Perk Me Up. Next one I used is Sensational's Melt. And this one's in Cherry Berry. This one was so strong. I only need to put in one cube each and the whole place smelled amazing, like a berry heaven. <laughs> Just so, so good. Next one I used up is a Goose Creek, Goose Creek Melt, and this one's in Orange Berry Slush. Another great scent. It smells almost like an orange popsicle with strawberry juice kind of scent to it. Next one I used up is Lemon Verbena. Very nice kitchen scents, really clean and citrusy. Coconut Flower is the next one I used up. And this one it was a little bit different than I expected. I thought it would be more cottony and it's got like a cologne cotton mixture, which I like, but I was just uh, surprised by it is all. Next one I used up is Ambrosia. And this one's really, really strong. It's like a big pop of tropical scents. And I absolutely love it. I definitely repurchased that one. Next melt I used up is a Bell River Candles melt. And this one's in Sun and Sand. I don't know. I don't really like the Bell River Candle melts. I bought them previously and thought they weren't that great, and then the company said that they enhanced their scent throw, so I thought I'd give them another try. And I just, I still don't find that the scent throw is very good. I'm not a big fan of the soy blend that they do, so I will not be repurchasing from Bell River Candles, sadly, because they are a Canadian company. Next one I used up is an Ambiescence Raindrops, and this scent, if you guys can find it, it smells so freaking good. It's like aqua and like, oh, how do I explain it? Like tranquil. Like it's just very, very beautiful scent. And I loved it. If I could find it again, I would definitely repurchase it. Next one I used up is coconut lemongrass. And this one is amazing. It smells like lemonade to me. I don't really smell too much uh, coconut, but it smells more like lemonade. Next one is an ambiescent smelt, and it's in vanilla pomegranate tea, which was amazing. It smelt more like pomegranate, but I could smell a bit of the tea mixed to it. So just a really nice, soothing, relaxing scent. Oh. I guess I have something makeup related in here, and it's Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And I absolutely loved this. I want to repurchase it. It's a bit expensive, so I'm just kind of waiting and debating if I should repurchase it, because I do like the uh, Manga uh, Mascara. I think it's by L'Oreal, but that's what I've been using lately, and I absolutely love it. But this one, if I had the extra money, I would definitely repurchase it. And the last two, this one is Sensational's Strawberries and Cream, and I've already repurchased this. It smells just like strawberries and cream, and it's really nice, strong scent throw, so I love it. Last one, oh, it's called I Love Waffles by Ambiescence. And oh my goodness, this is my favorite scent of 
all wax scents that I've ever tried in my entire life. I'm not even kidding you. As soon as it was melting, I was like, I need to stock up on this scent because it smells so, so good. Like maple syrup, waffles, butter, cream. Oh, just delicious, decadent smell. If you don't like baked goods or you don't like sweet uh, scents, you won't like this one, but oh, I love it. I love waffles, perfect name for it. That's all I've got for you guys. <laughs> oh wait, I've got one more thing. Um, this one is a wallflower and it's in watermelon lemonade scent. And honestly, I didn't really smell it that much. I have it in the kitchen and normally I can really smell it when I walk in the apartment, but I couldn't really smell it that much. So probably wouldn't repurchase the wallflower. I know the candles are great, but the wallflower, mm, not a very good scent throw for my, in my opinion anyways. So that is it for all of my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please smile at someone today. It'll brighten their day. Thank you.